Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Terry with you today. Oh, my mail's running. Well, we had a situation last night. I, this is a multi-purpose video. It's to warn you about, uh, you know, being out and doing things on your homestead after dark. It's warning you about predators again. Uh, predator situations with your flocks and with your feed, if it's especially if it's in your run, which that's where I keep my feed for my ducks and for my um, my run area. I don't put the feed inside my coops; it's for where my chickens are. Well, so this is about geese. This is about you, you being prepared for predators, and it's also going to be about you, you know, knowing what to do. First of all, you need to understand the laws and situations in your state and in your area in regards to wildlife predators etc etc okay every state's different all type of places are different so you need to know that what we uh, how we are told to manage things here may be different in, T in Tennessee may be different than how you're told uh, we do not uh, try to attract wild animals to our area that we are trying to you know homestead with we don't believe in that method <laughs> Uh, and frankly, it's against the law here. Um, but if you do have a predator situation, you need to know how to handle it. So last night, you know, you have a situation in a run where, you know, it's time to put everybody up. The chickens put themselves up, but the, 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 the run door is open. I highly believe that you should never leave your run, your, the, your coops open overnight. You're just... You're just throwing money away because you're just attracting a major problem. More than likely at some point, you may get by with that for a while, but you know, you're gonna have a situation where something's gonna come in, a raccoon, a family of raccoons, and annihilate everything that you've got, period. Um, you know, and a lot of these animals are very, very crafty. You need to know that as well. They climb, they dig, they do all these things. Well, we had a situation where a possum broke through one little corner. And what he did though is he broke in where my, I have Chinese geese and I have them separated. I have two Chinese geese with my ducks and I have two, a, a Chinese goose with my, with this flock. And he got into a scuffle with this goose. This goose, <laughs> neighbor's home, um, absolutely was defending the flock. They do a really good job. So I want to tell you my personal opinion and the only experience I have at this time is with Chinese geese and I like them because they are known to be defensive and they are known to be loud. If I step up towards that run right here in just a minute you're going to hear him more so than you're probably going to hear me. So that's why I'm down here. But ladies in particular, you lady homesteaders, if you go out to check things I do often, uh, do an evening run, barn check, whatever, you need to make sure that you have something on you for defense in some way. You need to make sure you have a flashlight. You need to make sure you have gloves, good footwear, okay? Because you don't know at any point in any time of the year what you're going to run into. Well, the goose ran the possum around a bunch of times, and we heard the door slam. He ran the we ran he ran the possum into the into the coop, and when we went in to get to open the door, every chicken ran out. So right now, what we've been doing is we've been wrangling up chickens. Even we couldn't find all of them. They ran into the side woods. They've been up in the trees. One of them ran over into the garage. We didn't even know it. We got all of them. We didn't lose any animals. Praise the Lord. Um, timing was right. Um, and had we already shut the coop, I don't think that, I, I think I, it would have been an interesting situation to see. I think the, the possum would have been pushed in a corner. Uh, we've seen the goose do that before. So, Chinese geese, thumbs up. I do recommend you have a male and a female together. That's been our experience. I'll show you some footage here in just a minute. What I found is, is when I have a male uh, these animals bond really hard, okay? They bond to each other, they bond to what they're with, their guardians. And so, what we did to help with that is we got one of the males a female to see how that would work. And that calmed him down some. So, uh, so it, Maverick got Shaw Shaw. We have Maverick and Goose. I know, Maverick and Goose. Maverick, the stud muffin, got him a girl. We got him a, a pretty little girl. Her name is Shasha. Shasha or Sasa is uh, Goose and Cherokee, by the way. There's your Cherokee word of the day. And we're going to get one for Goose over there. But Goose was a defender last night. So we've had to handle a situation last, late last night. Uh, it's all taken care of. Um, remember, you need to look into the laws of how you need to handle situations. And be prepared when you come outside. You don't know what you're going to run into. These animals are pushed out of their environments. They're hungry too, but it may unfortunately 
be on your property. I'm going to show you some footage of the geese here in just a second because I want you to see them. People have been asking me about my geese. Um, they're, they, they're messy like ducks. Uh, they guard hard like a like a, an LGD in, ter in their terms, you know, they're defensive. And the good thing is, is when we're inside or we're over there, if we start hearing them, that's who we hear first. They are alarms. We know to come over. And that's how that happened last night. Way to go, Goose. Hope this video finds you well. See? What? We're feeding and cleaning up right now. It's just what they do. We'll see you on the next video.